here it is, the gold frame Wertheim, uh, often referred to it as the flagship of the Wertheim fleet. Uh, they made the grey frame instrument, the gold frame instrument, uh, some lovely grand pianos too, and of course very famous for their uh, pianolas. But there it is, not a trace of this instrument uh, to be seen in any of the records that are shown on eBay, Google or any other source. And yet here it is, a world-class instrument, something that I often say to people, we should be very proud of the instruments that were made here in Australia. Uh, often under German supervision, Hugo Wertheim, often um, referred to as the father of the modern piano. He was the one who conceived of the idea of the underdamper mechanism. And bit by bit, every other maker around the world had to concede that that was the new system. Um, so they saw through their overdamper stocks and sent them on their way and uh, eventually had to fall in line uh, with the underdamper uh, that Hugo Wertheim had developed um, in the Habsburg days. But here in Melbourne, uh, you know, his instruments were renowned and we're very lucky we have many of them that have survived through to today and if they're worth restoring, well, we'd go ahead with that. Um, as a second thought, about that, that they are of such quality. Uh, the golf frame were times too, don't be misled, some of them are smaller instruments than this and with the very floral and decorative cabinet. This is the most common style and I'll put the cabinet back together in a moment and you'll perhaps recognise that. But some of the greatest instruments that I've had the privilege of working on have been gold frame were times and the big tall one great big thing like a big Richard lip or whatever and they can hold their head high with Steinway and all the other household name pianos. So I'm on a bit of a crusade in this little session. Uh, instruments that don't get a mention on Google and things like that, it's not through no fault of their own, it's just accidents of history often. So the beautiful Melbourne uh, word time, here it is and what an instrument this is too. So. So there it is, the gold frame word on what a beautiful piano for teacher, student, advanced, or for family, once again, who want to uh, just extend themselves and get their first piano and last piano all in one go. There it is, no need to replace that. Um, there is um, rumours circulating about older instruments that I'd like to put right too. And that is that uh, some of them have sort of a limited lifespan well, that's true, but only if a piano has been mistreated or has been in poor circumstances. Uh, these instruments were literally made to go on through the ages. Uh, soundboards, iron frames, you know, the beautiful uh, handcrafted aspects of a good piano. And we mustn't forget that the quality of the workmanship and materials in these pianos is something we can't, um, <laughs> can't really replicate much today, not without uh, enormous price tags. Uh, in the um, Victorian branch of the Tuners Guild years ago we ran an exercise where we tried to calculate how much it would it cost to make an instrument like this for example in today's terms. We stopped when we got to about $40,000 and the project still was 
incomplete. So in other words, and it was theoretical of course, but in other words to assemble the people, materials and know-how and to lavish that sort of time on instrument making uh, in today's terms, you know, it would cost perhaps thirty-five, forty thousand uh, dollars to come close to making an individual instrument. Well, that's why today's pianos uh, top price. You know, you might pay say fifteen, eighteen thousand for an upright piano, but the materials, the workmanship, you know, they're trying their best, but they're not a gold frame Wertheim or a Ronish or. Schwechten, or the lovely Hallman we just looked at. You know, these are works of art as much as musical instruments. So don't be misled if you can't find lengthy details about certain pianos that you might see on my site or represented by other piano tuners and restorers. That's no indication. Look at the instrument, listen to the instrument. Word time, as far as the Pierce's Atlas goes, which is what you find when you go on Google doesn't even exist. And here it is in reality, here in big numbers in Australia still, and a most beautiful instrument to play and to work on. Gold frame from Wertheim.